Hey, welcome again to my channel. Stella Blaze here with you. Thank you to those of you who have been um, watching and refusing to um, comment <laughs> and give a thumbs up. Anyway, thank you so very much. I know this will all eventually, um, it's a gradual process. Any growth in life is a gradual, gradual, uh, gradual process. And I am one that I have a lot of patience. I do have a lot of patience and a lot of persistence. So I'm just going to keep doing my best while I hope eventually things will pick up fine. So what's my um, post today on? It's put your phone down. Now, um, it's, um, it has it has. It, it has its advantages and it has its disadvantages. Um, there's a friend that um, I've known for, I think, since 2016. And this person, you know, always has their phone. You be talking to this person, they have their phone. But recently, there has been great improvement. And it makes me, I kind of respect this person very much now because you're talking to them and they have their phone down and they're looking at you in the eye and listening to what you're saying and able to respond rightly. Now, a lot of us out there, a lot of people out there do this. You have people talking to you or you have a person talking to you and you have your eyes on your phone. And sometimes when you you ought to respond, you're not responding rightly or you're half and half. Actually, the person or the people there can see that you are not fully with them in the moment because your attention is divided. So I would say, yeah, because um, there's a young lad that said to me, oh, madam, but my business is all to do with the phone. And I'm like, yes. A lot of people does not mean when you're talking when it's time to discuss with somebody that you should have your phone there ought to be breaks put the phone down discuss what you have to participate in a discussion participate in being in the moment participate in laughing with the people you know present where in the within the space you are participate in if seeing or taking in enjoying the food the meal you're eating put that phone down try and 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 make real life relationships create real life relationships because your phone will not tell you sorry or empathize or sympathize or come and greet you or help you to feel okay when you're ill now the downside to this phone phone thing is a lot of people have become loners lone rangers and this is what is leading to a lot of mental health health problems because people don't visit people anymore people don't speak over the phone anymore People don't sit and chat and crack jokes. Everything is over the phone. And even over the phone, they don't talk. They just text. They just WhatsApp. They just, you know. Luckily for me, I have so trained myself, and which is one of the things I've told, or rather I put out to the group, you know, the groups I belong to that. If you send me a message, and even family members, if you send me a message on WhatsApp, I will not respond because I'm not there 247. If you send me a message via text, except it's urgent, then I will respond. But if not, I won't. Flash me, let's talk. Talking has a lot of advantages to it. You hear the other person laugh, you smile and things like that. You crack jokes and you're able to know, okay, this person is feeling well, this person is okay, or this person is sad and needs to be inspired or motivated. So I believe in the olden days where we still talk and communicate physical contact. And even, yeah, because of times now, especially with COVID, 
you can still talk over the phone instead of just texting texting whatsapping and you know yeah so put down your phone put down the phone put down the phone put down the phone and let life happen thank you so much again kindly share because this actually applies to everyone it does really apply to everyone more well some more than the others so and share and leave your comments give us a thumbs up if you will god bless see you in my next clip bye bye